So let's take a look at how you can export your Go.Engine game to HTML5. And for that, what we'll do is we will open our Go.Engine project. Okay, in my case, I have Pong game, which I'm going to edit and show you. So simply click on edit, it should open. And next thing that we will do is we will try to run this to see if there are any errors. Okay, if firewall asks you permission, allow access, then check your game working or not. Check its keyboard options. Okay, so let me try for both players. Okay, if it's there, I can go ahead and hit the export there. So considering the game is working, let's go to the export. So click on export option from the project menu. Right, here you can see, currently I have HTML5 preset. If you don't have any, select it from add and then choose the preset. So which is HTML5 in this case, simply manage export template if you see this error. Right, now what you can do is click on the download option. Now it will ask you to choose mirror, choose it and let the download start. Let me pause because it's a big download. Let's come back after it nears completion. Okay, now here you see 100% completed. And now I can close this and go back to project then export option. Right? Then I can export this into option of either choosing export project or zip. And when we do go there, we get the option to create another folder which we will for web can create new folder. Click OK. You can also create another folder for zip or save the export zip option there. So let's go with export zip. See if any errors are there in the terminal. Click export zip. Add the name something like pong.zip and save it. We can close and we can verify if the exports are being made in that particular web directory. So close this and minimize your go.engine. And then we will take a look at the directory structure. Our project pong then web folder is where everything is stored. So you can see both zip file and the HTML export is in this directory. You can verify and test it to see what's working.